Hi, I'm Christopher Dean, and tonight I'm going to try and bring my design system called Dezen into Sketch for Teams. And if we look at this rundown, we're going to go through the setup. Uh, this is a good time for me because my license is about to run out for Sketch. We're going to take a quick look at the UI. So whatever we see when we get to the other side, we're going to upload Dezen, bring the libraries into Sketch for Teams, invite myself to it. Probably at that point, I'm going to make some changes, provide feedback, do some other things and see if it all syncs. So let's go to the Sketch for Teams site and see if we can do this. Okay, and here it is. Let's just scroll down. There's an intro video, some background information. But what we want to get to is what to expect from the public beta. On the right hand side here, I've launched it. You can use mentions to keep everyone in the loop. Organize your documents with projects, which means these things are on their way. Now, pricing is great. You can get Sketch for Teams for the same amount that you get a Sketch license. Let's jump in. All right, let's create a new team. And uh, no surprises here, I'm going to call mine Dezen. I'm going to skip the team logo. And looking at the plans, you can go in for a year or per month. Let's go continue to payment details. And it's asking for the normal things like your card, billing details, address. Okay, with all my personal details now blurred out, let's select start free trial. And we're all set up and that was pretty easy. So get started by inviting members or downloading Sketch. I think I'm just gonna invite myself because myself will be using this with myself during this tutorial. Okay, and we're here in team settings. If I scroll down, I can see some information at the top. And then members is probably gonna be where you do most of your work as a team, inviting people, controlling their uh, permissions. Here we've got downgrade to viewer, remove admin rights, but I'm going to invite myself. Okay, info at desin.io. I am a contributor and I'm going to get charged at the end of my trial. Okay, invite has been sent. Let's go and see uh, that invite, but I think first I'm going to sign out. So when I come back as myself, I can sign in as myself. Okay, with the invite, I'm just gonna select join. Okay, I haven't set a password yet, so I think I'll select sign up. Change to Christopher Dean, info at desin.io, and then go enter in a password, select sign up. Okay, join the rest of the Desin team on Sketch. Select get started. You need to verify your Sketch account. Let's go and do that first. And with the verification email, I'm just gonna select verify email. Okay, I've been verified. Just gonna to go to settings, let's see what I've done here. Okay, I'm part of the Dezen team. So that's looking like it's working. Select the icon over here, see what happens. Go to Dezen. I'm gonna log out of this account, log back into the ChristopherDean.net account Sign back in as myself. Go to Dezen. From here, I'm going to create a new project called Dezen DS. Add a document to this project. So save a document in this project in Sketch to see it here. So let's jump over to Sketch and see if we can do that. Okay, I'm going to zoom out delete all of this. Pull back and you'll start to see a few differences to the libraries. There's now two of them. So I've split out the fundamentals into one of them and the components into the other. And I've made a lot of updates, but I'm gonna do a separate video on that, which will be part of the Dezen Design System series. For now, let's take a look. Right, there you go. It's going to take a look at the other library. There you go, there's the buttons all the way through to the responsive cards. Back at the fundamentals library, 
Let's see what we have to do to get it into Sketch for Teams. Okay, I'm gonna go up to Sketch Preferences. I'm already at the Account tab. I'm gonna go down and collaborate with Sketch Cloud. Let's go get started. I'm gonna enter in my info at ChristopherDean.net account. Okay. You jump out of there. I'm going to go over here to the top right and upload this document to Sketch Cloud. I'm going to drop down Desin and select Upload. And all right, it's uploaded. We scroll down, we can see all the artboards, kind of similar to abstract. Everything's spread out nicely. If I click into one of them, we can take a look. Cool. All right, let's go upload the other file. And again, go to the top right, select Desin, upload. And that uploaded okay as well. If we scroll down, we can see all the components. Let's go back to Desin and see if the two files are there. Yep. And okay, add a document to this project. So all documents. I wonder if I can move to yeah, here we go. Desin DS. Move. Move to project. Let's do this one. Okay, let's go back to Sketch, close those documents, and see if we can open them from here. And with the Welcome to Sketch window open, I'm going to go over to the Cloud tab. And if you're signed in and everything's working properly, there they are. So I'm just going to open this one. All right, let's go open the other one. File, open, cloud document. So what happens here when I make a change? I'm going to zoom in. Duplicate this. Change this to something like red. 30. Create a new style, which I will delete later on, but just seeing if this works. And then I'm going to save. Okay, and I'm going to go back to Sketch for Teams and see if it's picked up on that change. Okay, and it looks like it has. I've got a now. It's not really telling me what it did, but color red R30 is right there. Fantastic. So that works pretty well. Okay, so from here, I'm going to leave a comment for the other account I created, log out of this one, log into that one, and see if I can see the comment. Let's try that out. Okay, if I scroll back down to what we just created, I'm going to come to the bottom right, type in at, okay, that's come up, that's going to be me, and just type in, we don't need this, please delete. Okay, <laughs> let's add that. Cool, I'm gonna log out. That's already set up there, cool. So I'm gonna sign in from here. And I've got a notification up here saying that Christopher mentioned you. Christopher Dean, we don't need this, please delete. All right, so I'm gonna go back into Sketch sign out and then sign back in as this person and see if I can delete it and see if that change gets updated here. I've reopened Sketch. I'm going to go to Preferences. I'm going to sign in with the other account. All right. I'm going to go to Desin and select a 
the fundamentals again. I'm going to delete that. Probably go and delete that extra style that we don't need as well. So I'm using Sketch Automate plugin to go remove and use layer styles. There it is. Okay. It's going to save again. Go back to Sketch for Teams and see what happens. Okay, new document version available. Ooh. See you latest version. And this has come in. And there is no more R30. So that all works pretty well, if you ask me. Sweet. I'm going to log out of this account and then log back into my main account. Select fundamentals again. And I'll go back to sketch and log in as my main account as well. Sign out of there. Okay, I'm back in as my main account. Close that file again. Okay, and from here, it would be good to see if we can use these files that are in Sketch for Teams, basically in Sketch Cloud, as libraries inside Sketch. Let's go back to Desin DS, hover over each one, go to Settings, change this to Download and Use as Library. You can invite anyone with a link and people you have invited or only people you have invited if you like. Let's save changes. Do the same here. Okay, now if you click it again, you can go add library to sketch. Shared libraries require sketch. Add library to sketch. Sure, here we go. Open sketch app. Okay, it's going to download and end up there. Okay, let's do that with the other one. Add library to sketch. Okay. Okay, let's close sketch. Reopen it, start a new cloud file, and see if I can use these. Okay, in the Desin tab, I'm going to go New Cloud Document. This is blank. And everything's there. Fantastic. I'm going to drop in a button. This is awesome. Let's just drop in an artboard, add that button there. This is going to be very messy. Add some text, give it a H1. Type in sketch for teams. All right, and that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I think from here on in, we'll be using Sketch for Teams and seeing what the new updates are, updating the libraries from here. Hopefully you'll be able to just download it from here as well, which would be great. And that's basically it. So I'll see you next time and bye.